Hello, well, it's Kopa and I hope you've enjoyed Wealthy Wednesday, our first one. You know, we always said to people that we were really trying to live up to the four Ps of, you know, people, property, profit, and purpose. Well, I wanted to finish off with the last uh, video, which is all around purpose. Back in uh, 2013, when I was doing my research for my book, International, uh, sorry, Property Going Global, we did the maths and we found out that there were about a billion people on the planet that had access to property. And we started a project and we said, why don't we just call it Project W Wealth and, and look to increase that by another billion people. It's not a great name, I'm not going to lie to you. And uh, that's when we actually came up in, in, uh, in 2014 with Roger Hamilton in Bali with the Wealth Movement. And it was all about creating a better and more sustainable planet for all. And there were three legs to the Wealth Movement. You know, Hilda Lundestead wrote a beautiful manifesto and I highly recommend that you go to thewealthmovement.com so that you can understand our bigger picture purpose, our why, you know, what drives us, what gets us out of bed. But there were three parts to that. The first was entrepreneurship education for children. The second was empowering women with access to financial education. And the third was, you know, empowering the 99% to be able to invest like the top 1%, you know, using technology. And so for us as part of Wealthy Wednesday, we decided to really focus on on a, a Bongi. Bongi is a young man that I met back in 2014 at Lemonade Day. Lemonade Day is a project sponsored by Google for Entrepreneurs in America. They've got about 300,000 kids. We've got the rights to bring it to Africa. We we're running some pilot projects in Nisna over the Oyster Festival. And Bongi actually won it. He was absolutely incredible. Uh, complete persistence and tenacity. Everything you want in a young entrepreneur. And ironically, his mom is a, is a um, police lady. And his dad is a security guard. And he earned more money in one week selling lemonade than they earn in an entire month. We flew him up to Johannesburg as part of his prize. He came to our first Wealth Movement event where he met all our investors and our shareholders. And he told me that his dream was to go to a private school. And with someone with that much skill, that much tenacity, you know, very arguably the next Elon Musk, we decided to crowdfund it. And so you can click on the link below. You can see all about it. We've now successfully put him through school uh, 2016, 2017, 2018. He's absolutely thrived. He's a born leader. He's played uh, Southwestern Districts, which is provincial hockey. He's captained the team. He's done very well academically. But the thing that I'm most impressed by is during the holidays when most of his friends are, are, are playing, you know, he goes and he works in the, in the, on the yachts and earns extra money. He's got such amazing uh, humility, but also work ethic. And um, what's fascinating for me when, when one looks at this, this kid is that he, he wants to study um, electrical engineering uh, and mechanical engineering. He wants to build drones. He, you know, that's why I joke about him being the next Elon Musk. And I just wanted to send you this message because as being part of Wealthy Wednesday, you know, if you signed up and joined on the inner circle with the 60% discount or if you invested in any of the deals, 1% uh, of, of our revenue actually goes towards uh, the cause for Bongi. And you again, click on the link below and you can see, you know, what he's doing, what he's achieving at school. And if you want to, you know, participate directly, it's a crowdfunding project that we've been running year after year for the last three years. He's got two years, well, year and a half now to go. Um, and it's just incredible, you know, the difference that you can make in someone's life. And I'll finish off with a, with a story of the starfish. You know, there's this parable of an old man and a young boy walking along a beach. And the young boy, you know, looks up and there's just thousands and thousands of starfish. And then he watched the old man lean down and pick up a starfish and throw it into the sea. And he looks up and there's, there's so many starfish on the beach. And he watches the old man, the old man leans down and picks up another starfish and throws it into the sea. Eventually, the young boy is perplexed. And he says to the old man, he says, what are you doing? There's just so many starfish. How can you, how can I ever, you know, make a difference? Or how can you ever make a difference with these starfish? And the old man bends down, he picks up a starfish and he throws it into the sea. And he says, young man, it mattered to that starfish. And my request to you is that we're not going to change the world. We're not going to make it a better and more sustainable place. Um, with a billion people at a time, we're going to make a difference with one person at a time. And whether that's Bongi or someone else, my challenge to you is to be purposeful, to be profitable, to have fun. And ultimately, you know, Wealthy Wednesday is about all the different genres. We hope we've added a huge amount of value to you today. We've tried to share so much. We hope we haven't overwhelmed you. That's why we're only going to do it on a monthly basis. But most importantly, we wanted to make a difference in your life. And we believe that if we can make a difference in your life, you can make a difference in others' lives. So thank you very much for being part of Wealthy Wednesday. And if it did add value to you, please share the material with your friends. You know, we, we want to empower a billion people. We want to empower you so that you can create the freedom you want in your life. And if, you, if we're adding value to you, let others know about it. We'd really appreciate it.
Cheers. Signing out from Wealthy Wednesday in June. We look forward to seeing you in a month's time. We also look forward to any ideas that you would like to see. But this is our way to live up to our three core values of trust, transparency, and alignment. Till next time. Cheers.